This video is sponsored by Fox 3 Managed Solutions. We provide DCS service for any size group, squadron or air wing. You can find the link to their website in the description below. All footage in this video is recorded on a Fox 3 server. Hey, hello everybody, Hoy's here from Mean Street. Welcome to another video. And today we're in the FA-18 Hornet and we're gonna do a little um, tutorial video on how to use JDAMs. That's the GBU-31, GBU-32, GBU-38. Now this is not gonna be an in-depth, full-on Control it. This is just going to be how to get yourself in the air and get sling in with JDAMs as quickly as possible and ruin people's day. All right. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to choose air to ground while we're still on, still on the carrier, and we're carrying two GBU 31s, so two 2,000 pound JDAMs. So <clears throat> you're going to see this J84 here. We're going to choose that. There we go, that's ready. Also, you might want to turn on your uh, teapod and let that thing warm up. And let's see, we'll see when that's ready. Now we've got to set up our JDAM. So, you see here timing, 9 minutes 46. That's how long it's going to take for them to align. So we're going to go mode and we're going to choose TO, so target of opportunity. So you can use your um, targeting pod to identify targets. So you're going to go E fuse. And if you want to do um, delay to shoot, to, you know, kill something that's underground, that's where you go. It's, if it's on the surface, you go instant. That's good, that's good, that's good. And now you go to JDAM display. And you see that it's quanti quantity, only we're only going to release one. We're going to do quantity two. All right. Now you see that uh, you have station two and station eight here. So that's the two stations that we have our JDAMs on, that's two and that's eight. So we're gonna, if you want to do just one at a time, you click one. If you're gonna do both, you click both. It says quantity two. We're gonna release both at the same time once we get to the target. Alright, so now we're gonna let that warm up. And I'm just gonna do this real quick because I hate the alarm. There we go. And do the usual stuff before takeoff. Let's turn on the RWR. Countermeasures on bypass. Pods on, get the pilot's body, HMD is on, and we're, re we're ready to take off. Alright, so let's do this real quick. Rattling up. And let's salute. And let's get out of here. Alright, gear in, flaps in, and we're gonna have to go a little bit that direction, because that's where our target is. Now, we are gonna choose HSI, we're gonna have to choose the waypoint it's at. Waypoint. Go, waypoint 2 is our target. Go, teapot's warmed up. And we're just gonna get on course, get up to altitude, 30,000 feet, that's where we're gonna throw them from. Now we're pretty close, we can already see the target, 37 miles, so let's do this, this, and that. And we'll be able to see pretty soon what's going on, once we get up to altitude. But we're going to select our T-Pod. And yeah, we got something, we got some kind of a vehicles down there, so we're going to drop two 2,000 pound JDAMs, because let's assume that we really want this target dead. Right. So now, after you've taken off, you're going to have to go in the Hornet, you're going to have to go choose air to ground again, and choose that again, okay? Now, it's not saying that it's ready, JDAMs are crossed out, because the uh, master arm is off. And there's also, where you see this uh, 2.06 timer, that's how long it's going to take for us to get in range to, you know, release the JDAMs. All right, so let's get up to altitude. Yeah, there's something down there. There's some kind of... Some kind of vehicles, some infantry, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll wait until we get up to altitude, and then we can see what's going on. All right, we're at 30,000 feet. I've activated the autopilot so that we, you know, have a little bit of easier time handling the weapons so we don't have to, you know, worry about flying the plane as well. 
All right, what do we got here? We have, looks like, a helicopter, some vehicles, and um, some infantry. Okay, so with JDAMs, since they are GPS-guided weapons, if you're shooting a tank, for instance, if you want to release on, on a tank, you don't aim for the tank or for the vehicle. You aim for the ground below the vehicle because that's what the JDAM is going to lock onto. Here we go. We are says in zone. Mess for arm says ready and released. And that's it. That's it. You're done. You've released the bombs. You've, you know, just following your teapot. And now we're just going to wait for these people down here to have a bad day. Easy as that. A very simple weapon to use. And you can sling that from quite a lot long range away. I'm going to reduce speed a little bit. And just wait for it to hit. Yeah, it looks like two guys having a meeting next to a helicopter with some guys, you know, protecting them, some vehicles parked. Now, there's two 2,000-pound JDAMs heading for them, so they're about to have a very bad day. We might actually lose visual before the bombs hit. There we go. That's a hit right there. That was... Oof. That was nasty. Let's see what's left down there. Vehicles are destroyed. Helicopters destroyed. Lots of dead people. That's it, folks. That's all we got. Targets are dead. JDAMs are stupidly easy to use. Just when you set them up properly. And that's it. Hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you found it uh, informative and helpful. If you have, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And see you all in a future video. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.